In this chapter of Message Caller Video Manual, we talk about another cloud service, image identification. Now, image identification uses Amazon Web Services to perform some kind of task with your image. It will look at the image and determine some information about it. So let's talk about what it can do for you. First, quick word about cloud features. Uh, cloud features are not included in purchase price of Message Caller. Message Caller uses Amazon Web Services to perform translation or image manipulation. <clears throat> and because of that, Amazon has to be paid per transaction. There are two ways to pay per transaction. You can either purchase cloud credits on my website, or you can buy special license that will allow you to use your own AWS credentials and you'll be paying Amazon directly. With that out of the way, let's talk about what image identification tools are available in Message Crawler. And there are three, image label identification, phase detection, and unsafe image identification. So what's label identification? What this tool will do is it will tell you what is on the image without you having to look at it. So if there is a car, a person, a road, a house, you'll get that as a semicolon delimited list of objects in the picture. So what you'll be able to do is tally on them or just scroll through them and know whether this picture is interesting to you or not interesting to you. When configuring this tool, you can specify how many labels you want and how confident you want computer to be that it detected that specific label. Again, too many labels may give you too much information and too low of a confidence level may give you false positives. So uh, the, the tool comes with 10 labels by default with a confidence level of 77. That's, been what, that's what's been suggested by Amazon and that is the default setting. You can experiment, of course, and change these settings to fit your data better. Next tool we have is face detection. Now this deals with faces, right? Facial expressions, uh, as well as identifying people. And the two most useful things here, I believe are age and gender. So you could sort and find people of a certain age and gender. This way, if you're looking for people or you're looking for other than people, right? You can filter that out. And there are a few other options here where you can look for emotions, where the person's wearing sunglasses, eyeglasses, they have a beard and so on. And the last tool is unsafe image identification. So this is any kind of pictures that contain pornography or some kind of adult content. Um, again, you can use this to pre-screen your images so your review team isn't exposed to them. And you can configure a confidence level, how confident you want the computer to be that this is what it identified. Again, 77 is a good starting point. Uh, the other option we have is use general categories. And what that means is don't go into details what's on the picture. Just give me a general idea that this is a pornographic image and that's it. And you don't need to try to figure out what exactly is happening there. And that's going to be usually good enough. But again, you can experiment and see what you get. All right, some other settings we're going to need to configure in cloud image analysis. You need to configure control number which is the unique identifier that's generated by message crawler. You will need to specify path to an image so it knows which image to analyze. It could be an absolute path or relative path. And finally, you will specify a backup location. What backup location does is as the tool runs, it'll save that data into that file in addition to storing the message crawler. And the reason it does that is in case process happened to crash for whatever reason, Maybe you accidentally reboot your computer. Maybe you left it running overnight and computer restarted due to Windows updates or something like that, or maybe software crashes. This way you not wasted all the credits that you spent on identifying images. The information will be stored in that backup file and you can recover and continue. Now, before you're going to run this tool, you will specify which one of these three image identification features you're looking for. Each one is a separate service as far as Amazon concerned. So if you want to do all three, you will have to run this tool three times and you will use up cloud credit every time you use it. They're considered to be separate services. So you will select either label identification, face analysis or unsafe content detection radio button. And then you will click on analyze images. Uh, once uh, software finish is running, you will get an extra field, which you can use in a couple of ways. One is you can create a cross-reference file when generating RSMF files. 
So you will select select fields in the cross-reference section. You will check that image labels field. You don't need to check ID. It automatically knows to include that. And then the cross-reference file will be exported to the same folder where our SMF files are stored. Uh, this way, once you load our SMF files into relativity, you can take that cross-reference file and overlay it based on original file name. Uh, you will need to search and replace out.rsmf out. Uh, and so once you load that into relativity, you will have that extra field that you can tally on. The other way to use it, of course, is just take data from a grid, export it to a dat file, and use it however you want, load it to Excel, uh, email it to somebody, and so on. All right, let's do a demo of image identification. All right, here I have some text messages loaded, and they do have some attachments. So what we're going to do first we are going to navigate to filter, apply filter, and we'll say record type in square brackets because there is a space, equals, and in single quotes, we'll say attachment. And we are going to click OK. So now we have just attachments here, and we have our attachment path here. So let's uh, run these files through recognition process. We are going to go cloud image analysis. And we are going to select our control number ID and path is going to be our attachment path. All right, we have our backup file, we have our labels. So for this demo, let's do uh, label identification. So this is what's selected. We have 64 credits remaining. That means we can analyze 64 files. So click on analyze. During this process, images will be uploaded to Amazon, analyzed data will be downloaded back and now process finished and what it's telling us that we have some images that are in the unsupported file format which is okay so we're going to close this window scroll all the way to the right and you see that uh, it did not like these gifs but it did work on these jpeg files and what did it find so if we double click here you'll see that it found human Thumbs up, finger, person, wood. And the other picture is logo, trademark, and symbol. So it identified information here. So now what we can do is click on filter, clear the filter. So now we're back to our normal results. Now I'm going to select create cross-reference file, select fields, and now I'm going to select this image labels field and click OK. And now when I run my RSMF generation process, a cross-reference file will be saved in the same folder where RSMF files are containing these image labels. Now they will get collapsed on RSMF level. So if you had multiple attachments per, per RSMF, you will only get one entry with unique labels for that RSMF file because that's how you're going to be doing overlay to relativity. You will overlay that into one RSMF record, which is of course controlled by this conversation field. All right, let's do one more image analysis and this time let's do unsafe image identification. But we're going to do it a little differently. Let's pretend we have a folder with lots and lots of images and you just want to scan that folder and find all the images that reviewers could be sensitive to. So the way we're going to do that is we're gonna to go to miscellaneous tools and we're going to select a directory list tool. I'm going to copy and paste path with some images and I'm going to say create dir list and so this will create a directory list of images in the folder I'm going to click load to grid and so now my directory list has been loaded into message crawler and then I can go to my cloud tools image analysis we are going to select ID path is going to be full path and we're going to say unsafe content detection now we're going to click on Analyze Images. Once this is done, we get a pop-up saying it is complete. And we'll give it one more minute. Yep. Done. Close. And now you can see that these images do contain some kind of explicit content and you may want to exclude them from the batch to reviewers. Again, if you have a room full of reviewers, you don't want uh, to have certain images popping up on the screen all over. And face identification will work in a similar way where it will give you labels about information of people's faces. 
All right, thank you guys for watching this chapter of Message Crawler video manual. If you have any questions, please contact me and I will see you on the next chapter.